this Saturday under the theme Youth Innovation, Crafting Solutions to Emerging Challenges. Now, UN officials and humanitarian experts will inspire participants to find innovative strategies for addressing humanitarian challenges locally and globally. Now, in regards to this, we continue with the discussion we were holding earlier on. You know, we definitely were taking a look at the importance of the Rotary Club, not just in Kenya, but Africa as well. Tell us some of the impact you've made in society. Um, we've made incredible steps um, in progress, in development in um, our societies in Africa. We've worked at health solutions, we've worked at education, uh, we've worked at empowerment of uh, women and just general economic environment for people. We have uh, trained p uh, young people in uh, peace programs and arbitration between communities in Turkana and Pokot. We have worked on uh, solutions uh, with uh, uh, preventable diseases and polio is one of our greatest uh, global projects we work on that throughout the world and we're really this close to eradicating polio we have no cases of polio in Kenya for the last three years Africa and Nigeria was the last place to have polio and uh, we're very close to eradicating we haven't had a case of polio in Africa for the last two and a half years oh that's quite commendable <laughs> thank you um, let's go yes. over to Michelle now um, Perhaps tell us about the importance of the Rotarian UN Day 2018 and what it seeks to achieve. Yes, thank you. Um, so this is very exciting to have our annual Rotary event here in Nairobi for the first time. And as you said, the, this event focuses on youth innovation. So uh, the, globally, the population, the millennials, is 50% of our population around the world. And so clearly, we want to engage this new generation in, in solving our humanitarian challenges. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, well, yeah. well, that's very important, and especially since you're engaging the youth. As we well know, Africa contributes a, a very large percentage of the population in Africa yeah. is actually the youth. Now, the inclusivity of innovation in actually dealing with some of the challenges we face um, is very important. Perhaps what resonated or what brought you to actually bring in innovation, especially as this year's theme in 2018? Clearly we need innovation in our society to deal with these humanitarian challenges and what's exciting about this event is we're having the opportunity to uh, recognize six individuals, six young Rotary members under the age of 35 and how they've used technology to address challenges in their community or globally. Uh, we're honoring uh, an individual who is teaching vocational training um, to young incarcerated women in Colombia. Uh, we're honoring a, a gentleman, again under the age of 35, who's developed a technology to identify and eliminate pollution in our waterways. And we're also honoring one of Kenya's own, um, who has done a tremendous job in, in uh, water and sanitation and has installed over 50 toilet blocks in five schools. So we're, we're looking at recognizing these young leaders who have taken today's challenges and found a new and innovative solution. Uh, perhaps allow me to engage you. We've heard that we are honoring, as Rotary Club, are honoring um, one Kenyan who has done a commendable job in water and sanitation. Um, let's also take a look at Kenya hosting this particular event. It's the first time in Africa, right? That's right. Yes, and what milestone is this and how can it be translated to the effectiveness of the Rotary Club in Africa? This is a great opportunity for Africa. Rotary and United Nations have a lot of synergies. Um, we have common goals through the Millennium and the Sustainable Development Goals. Rotary's areas of focus deal with most of those sustainable goals. Youth in this particular case are empowered um, through Rotary and through United Nations. And as you earlier said, 70% of our population is under the age of 35 they are giving a lot of solutions to us adults. We have a lot to learn from them. And we have young people who are um, boasting their creativity. They're boasting their, and it's incredible how their minds are working. Um, the milestones that we're going to get is, uh, Roche has always held its day at New York for many, many years. Last year they held it in Geneva, in Europe of course, and now we're in Nairobi, Kenya, 
for us Africans, this is an incredible honor. We're bringing um, exposure to our people, to our challenges, and we are also providing our own solutions. So uh, for Africa, this is a great honor. And this is just the beginning. Rotary is going places in Africa. Believe me, Jesse. Well, well, something to look forward to. Thank Michelle, you. now, we talked about the innovations and their importance earlier on. Perhaps let's take a look at the impact this innovations might have in Africa and the rest of the world, also considering that we're going in line with the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. Yes, and clearly these, these programs, the programs that I highlighted, are, are making a direct impact in the communities. Um, but I want to touch back on what uh, Gita has said about polio in terms of impact. Uh, when Rotary International started its focus on polio in 1985, we had 350,000 cases every year of polio. And now in 2017, we had just 22 cases in the world. And we're committed to, to fighting against this disease until it's fully eradicated. And the impact is 350,000 children a year that are being saved from this, this horrible disease. OK. Well, that's very important. And which arms of the United Nations are you working with? Is it the whole body? Which, which arms are you working with? Yeah, with our, with our different Rotary Clubs, we partner with different agencies of the United Nations. Um, we, we work closely with UNICEF in particular on maternal and child health and disease prevention. Um, we've given a lot of grants in order to do polio eradication specifically. Okay, okay, yeah. that's very important. Now, in terms of supporting the innovation space in Kenya especially, we will know that youth um, are very, very important, not just in this current day and age, but in terms of the ideas they have and how to manifest these ideas into solutions um, for problems we are facing currently in Kenya. Let me direct this particular question to you as we conclude. Now, yes, we will be having the event on Saturday, and yes, we are bound to see many youth actually um, get engaged in particular, you know, particular steps that will help alleviate problems, and not just in Kenya but Africa. But the aspect of inclusivity is something that stands out, and is this something you're proud of as a Rotary Club member? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Rotary stands for diversity. It stands for bringing in all the marginalized people in society. Uh, we work with inclusivity on all angles. It is gender. It is on race grounds. It's on age uh, aspects of our society. So we are very proud of what we do in uh, the scenario for uh, inclusivity and inclusion of diversity. Okay. Michelle, thank you so much for making time. And once again, I will surely hope that the impact just as it has been felt as you mentioned in eradication of polio in Kenya will actually be felt even after the event that will be happening at the United Nations headquarters Gika thank you so much for also joining thank us you. and we hope that the event will be a success because it truly should be Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Many thanks. For thanks. Us. Thank okay, you, let's move on. January will mark the 60th anniversary of the founding of Motown Records, which became world famous for its distinct sound and star performances such as Michael Jackson, Dana Rose, Marvin Gaye, and numerous others. The Detroit based company was topping the record charts during the 1960s, and its success continued after a move from Detroit to London.